when we were in um, Oklahoma City at Parkview, it was introduced to us there. And they had a big, you know, announcement and said, hey, we're looking for, uh, for people to host students for six, eight weeks, whatever it is. Shake. Speak. Speak. Uh, I was excited. Um, I've traveled a little bit. Oh, Kenya, Colombia, Mexico. And these children are typically eighth grade and younger. When I saw their ages, I was, I don't know, I was nervous because they were very young, <laughs> 10, 11 years old. And I was, I didn't know how in the world I would have handled that as a mother sending my child away that young. So that's how I kind of looked at it. Like, okay, well, I sent my son away for a year to the Philippines. So, you know, somebody had to help him out. So, you know, we need to do the same. Yeah, I mean, Korea and the United States are are completely different. They had kimchi, they had rice, they had seaweed every day yeah. after supper. Yeah. <laughs> Their language in how they say things versus what they really mean, because they're yeah. very, very polite. They do not want you to think that they're not grateful. She says, oh, talking to our daughter Amy, says, oh, you have big poop. <laughs> I was like, what's big poop? She tried to explain it, but it was the bun in your hair. When you wear your hair in a bun, they call that poop. <laughs> so then it became a fun thing. And now I'm just like, oh, your, your poop is small. You know, we talk about poop all the time. We're talking about your hair. So I would take them after we, after a couple weeks of going to our church, I took them to different churches for Sabbath school. And then we went to our church for the service to hear Jim speak. But they would they would ask me questions. What does it mean? What does it really mean? Oh yeah, they, they cried. I mean, ugly cried when oh. they left. For me, it's just, just great having someone of a different culture. Showing kids that, that number one, Adventists are good people, but also one of the best things um, you know, for the children is they get to see a side of America that maybe the news doesn't always portray. Uh, Mark Twain says travel breaks down prejudice, and so uh, it's not all, you know, fun and games. You gotta mix your schedule up a little bit, and, you know, for the time that they're here, it's, it's about them. But whatever you put into it, you get 10 times out of it. Amazing, both times that we've done it, no complaining, polite, they they are just a joy to have and so it's 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 just a tremendous blessing